rise in hate crimes toward Asian Americans in our country has a lot of Asians feeling under attack. But here in Kansas City today, our community celebrated AAPI Heritage Month outside City Hall. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling was there and shares us why this event brings so many hope in, to many of our, in our community. It's a celebration to honor the Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage in our community. Hôm nay chúng ta với thành phố Kansas City. Though it's a community hurting. It makes me mad. It makes me mad because number one, don't pick on the weak folks. If you have a problem, say it and then deal with it. The pandemic brought on rhetoric that led to increased harassment towards this community. The anti-Asian racism and violence that we're experiencing now across the country is so acute, it's difficult to ignore. Paku Hur says while Kansas City is a welcoming place, <laughs> events like what happened in Atlanta impacts her family as her young daughter was frightened. Out of the bathroom I heard her, I heard her say, Mom, are people going to come and kill us too? Many here have faced racism firsthand. We've been called communist Nazis. Uh, we've had people just assume that you can come in and demand whatever you want from us because of the submissive stereotype that Asian Americans have. I grew up in a place where we had swastikas painted on our house. We had people calling our house telling us that their dogs were missing because they were insinuating we had stolen their dogs and eaten them. Those were the kinds of experiences I grew up with. With everything going on in the AAPI community, having big celebrations like this with all races and walks of life represented really gives them hope for change in the future. It's so great to see that it's not just Asians out here, that there are white allies out here. I think if we are going to have change happen, we need our white allies to start doing some of the work that we've been doing for so long. During this celebration, Mayor Quinn Lucas and other city leaders declared May as AAPI Heritage Month in Kansas City. I mean, uh, look at that. This is so fancy. I'm not a big framer of things, but I'm I'm going to frame this. <laughs> While tensions are high, many here believe there's momentum to change the narrative. We're a very divided society right now, so I'm not sure if it will happen in the short term, but hopefully in the long term. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.